Audio. How's my hair look? Really good. Thank you. You look good. I know. No, right now, yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta recenter. I gotta recenter. I got my gamer tag Scump. One day I was driving to my uncle's house for Thanksgiving and I saw Scrumptious on a sign on a billboard as I was traveling down the highway with my mother. And I had just sort of I sort of picked and chose the letters from it and it just somehow evolved into Scump. It originally was Scump E with two eyes, but I took that off because I just felt it was it was too much. So Scump is what I originally or ultimately had ended up with. Uh, I got into video games when I was around 10 or 11 years old. My brother, who is eight years older than me, got an original Xbox with Halo for uh, Christmas. I basically took that from him, so I stole, I stole his Xbox from him and ended up playing four times the amount that he did. And ever since then, I was always looking for an excuse to play more, so I found out about Professional Call of Duty and I pursued it instantly. I was never afraid to tell my mom that I didn't want to play sports because my dad had a big MLB background. He was drafted in the MLB draft and, you know, it's obviously he's big into sports, you know, it's his professional career. So I was a little bit afraid to tell my dad. I actually told him one day when we were traveling home from the gym, I didn't want to play football anymore. She didn't have the drive, wasn't having fun, felt like I was being forced to go to practice and I told him and he was actually really supportive of it and now I feel like he enjoys it more than he would have enjoyed football because now I'm at the top of Call of Duty and football, I mean, look at me, I wasn't going anywhere, so. <laughs> uh, when I won my first championship, it was sort of like my mom finally realized what this was. She was always very optimistic and skeptical about sending me to Dallas, which was my first event. I'm from Pennsylvania, halfway across, across the country. She was just really like, she didn't want me to get hurt or beat up by these gamers. And I was like, mom, it's not like that at all. I mean, I'd never been to an MLG event before, but I watched videos and it, it just, it's competition, you know? And I told her that it's strictly competition. And she was always very scared, but I got lucky because I had a good friend. His mom was going with him already. We were on the same team and we both went on the same flight from Newark, New Jersey. And I got there, she saw I didn't get hurt, I didn't get beat up, and I won the event. So she actually saw some, some income from it. And I was 15 at the time, so $2,500 was obviously a ton of money. That's like weeks and weeks and weeks of working for a 15 year old. So she was like, I approve. And ever since then I've just been killing it. No, I never really had a real job. I got very lucky and fortunate to have discovered professional gaming at such a young age because usually that high school age, like 16, 17, when you're moving on to your you know, graduate years of high school, people, that's when they usually find their jobs, their part-time jobs to make some money to you know, help with their tuition for college. So I got lucky. I discovered this at 15 when I was like a freshman in, uh, in, in high school. And like I said, won $2,500 my first tournament and my mom instantly it's always been grades, and if I get good grades, I'm good to do anything that I want with my free time. So just focus on my grades, and honestly, she saw the money, and she was very, very uh, uh, supportive. Um, I actually always wanted to be a teacher. Uh, I had a lot of really, really cool teachers growing up. They always like made me just like enjoy class, and you know, they added their own twist and taste to it, and they were funny, and they were super kind, and they were just always awesome. So I always wanted to be a teacher. Um, that's actually what I was going to go to school for before, I, obviously, the, the competitive gaming side. But if I had to pick a job for my teammates. Uh, what job do you think Damon Barlow would do, be doing? You know, he's 23 years old. What do you think he'd be doing at, you know, right out of college? Honestly, I could see Damon owning a laundromat. <laughs> you know, just people coming in all jolly. And Damon's just sitting at the front desk like, hey there, man. Can I do your laundry? How can I help you? What was your order number? I could just see Barlow doing that. I don't know why. All right, what about uh, Crim6, 24 years old? Um, I could see Crim being a car salesman, mechanic, just somewhere in the automotive industry, just doing something over there, 
his preference would be Porsche. But just, you know, doing what he enjoys and dealing with cars and people every day. All right, what about uh, Formal? What do you think Formal will be doing? He's your age. He's like last year of college. What do you think he's like? What do you, what do you think he'd be doing? Uh, one of Matt's parents, I think, is a lawyer. So I honestly think that he'd probably follow that path. He's a little bit more of the serious type. So I could see him bickering back and forth over why guilty people are innocent and vice versa. So I think he'd follow the family business. My name is Seth Scumpy Abner, and that's Brisk.